welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my spring cleaning routine. You guys seem to love when I make these cleaning videos, so I thought I would show you what I do when it comes to spring cleaning. I don't know if this is right, this is just what I do. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. And if you're already a subscriber, I would love for you to hit that bell so that whenever I post a video, you will get a notification. So yes, without further ado, let's jump into it. So first off, when it comes to spring cleaning, I will clear out my closet. When winter is finally over, and I know it's been a really long winter in the UK, but I think spring is finally here, so it's a good time to take everything out of your wardrobe, put all of the winter stuff away, and take all of your summer and spring clothes out of storage. This is also a great time to minimize your things. If there are any items that you haven't worn for six to 12 months, it's time to get rid of it. Next up is to dust and clean light fixtures properly. I probably should do this more often than I do, but I don't. So all I do is take a microfiber cloth, I get mine from Poundland, so they are super cheap, and then just take apart what I can, or just reach up and literally dust it and give it a really good clean. Next up is to clear out any cupboards or drawers that have got out of control. For me, it is my under the sink cupboard, and I actually feel a bit embarrassed because I have made a video all about how I organized this cupboard a couple of years ago, so I'll link that down below. But what I'm gonna do now is take everything out and put it all back chucking out anything that I don't use anymore. And I've also got some clever storage solutions. For this, I've got this really cool um, shelf in here. And then I use these little boxes from Ikea as well to store cloths and things like that. Next up is to clean your dishwasher. And I probably do this more than once a year, but I thought it was worth mentioning. So I will just up the salts in the dishwasher, add more rinse aid, and then I will also do a dishwasher cleaner like this. So all you have to do is take the top off and put it upside down, put it on a hot wash, and it will clean out your dishwasher. It will smell so much better as well and maintain your machine. Spring clean to me is getting to the areas that I don't clean all the time every week. So I like to think of under and behind units or couches, etc. I'm now actually gonna look under my couch. I haven't done this for a while, so I don't know what we're gonna find. <laughs> Right, so it wasn't actually that bad this time, but as a parent, I probably do it more than once a year. But I found the remote, and I also found some money, so that was a result. So I was gonna give it a good, like, hoover and mop down, and that would be a lot better. to launder your pillows and duvets. I wash the boys' sheets every one or two weeks, but once a year I like to actually wash it in the washing machine. Obviously check first that you can do that with um, their duvets. Ours is actually goose down feathers, so we have to take ours to the dry cleaners, but I can put the boys in the machine as well. And yeah, it's just nice to like refresh it, and you can also hoover your mattress and flip it if you need to as well. Next up is to clean any black mold that you have in your bathrooms. It doesn't matter how much I wash our shower, every now and then we will get some black mold. So I use this Silic Bang black mold remover. I really rate it, but it is quite potent. So when you spray it on, make sure you open a window, close the door, because it does smell quite strong. You just leave it on for five minutes and then I will wash it off with this toothbrush. I actually took this from a hotel um, and I use it for cleaning now. So I'll just spray it on and then yeah, it comes off really, really well. I also like to go through my makeup once a year as well and make sure nothing has expired. If you look on most beauty products, there is a little picture of a pot and it will have a number on it. This one says 6M, so that is six months. Some say 12, some say 24. So you can just have a look and think about how old things are. I must admit, I'm more careful when it comes to eye products like mascara or eye pencil, etc. But I just like to go through my makeup collection and then also wash my brushes. And I have this really cool mitt. I will link it down below. It's a really easy, quick way to wash your brushes. You can just put on some like face cleanser and then rub your brushes all around the different areas on this mitt and it cleans it really, really well and it makes your brushes last for a long time. Next up is windows. Soon the sun will be shining through, showing every speck of dirt on your windows. So it's a good time to clean them. We actually used to have a window cleaner, but we canceled him because we thought it was actually working out a little bit expensive. So I would just go around and clean the windows inside and out, make sure they look all nice. Obviously as a mum, we're gonna get handprints on the outside of the window and the inside as well, but I'll just wash that as and when. 
Next up in my spring cleaning routine is to clean carpets and rugs. I will tend to spot clean our carpets upstairs if they get dirty, um, or you can actually hire a steamer if you want to give them a really deep clean. But I also wanted to show you our rugs. I have specifically bought rugs that can go into the washing machine. So this one is from Ikea, and we also have one in the other room from French Connection, and both of them can be put into the washing machine and just put onto a normal cycle, and they come out as good as new. So I can do that quite a lot, but I thought it was worth mentioning while we're talking about rugs and carpets. Another thing that I like to deep clean is our fridge, and I actually dread this. I actually hate cleaning, it's one of the worst things that I have to clean. But I'll just take it all out, give it a good wipe down. I normally use my method cleaner because it is non-toxic, so obviously if you're cleaning something where food is stored, that's quite a nice one to use. So yeah, I'll just take it all out, wash it all down, and put it all back in. Chuck anything that we don't need anymore. And also you could clean your freezer out, but I tend to do this when it is like the height of summer because then it defrosts much quicker when you put the drawers and things like that outside. Next up is another one that I dread cleaning, and that is my oven. I actually hate cleaning this so much that I call this guy to come and do it. He charges me 30 pounds, and he cleans my oven, and it comes out good as new. So I tend to do that twice a year, but I have used Oven Pride in the past, and that has worked really well. I have never found a natural way to clean my oven that works, so if you have, please comment down below, let me know what it is. That I've used Oven Pride, you do have to be quite careful with this, make sure you're wearing gloves, because it can like, burn your skin, it is quite strong. But this works really well, and it's quite reasonable in price. You can just put everything into a bag with um, the mixture, and it, it washes up quite well. Um, but yeah, if, if you want to be lazy like me, you can call the guy that I use. Another one that I like to clean that you may not have even thought about is to clean your oven hood filters. These come straight out, and you can actually put them into your dishwasher on a hot wash. So I'll just stick it in and put it on a 60 degree wash, and they come out as good as new. Jackson wanted to join me because he feels very passionate about the next one. It is to clean your skirting board. So I will literally, it's quite self-explanatory, just give them all a wipe down because it isn't something that you do every single week. And I have another tip for you. I am obsessed with these things. They are called magic erasers. You can get them in Poundland or most shops and they just um, like erase any scuffs or marks that you have on your walls or your skirting boards. Well, they actually work really well in the bath as well. If your kids ever get marks from toys in the bath, like my boys, they run cars, and this takes it all away. So yeah, I'll link these down below as well. It's also quite a good idea to go through the kids' toys and get rid of anything that they've grown out of playing with or don't use anymore. I actually like to do this with the kids because I think it's quite a good lesson for them to think about donating them to other children. And I also tend to do this before Christmas, before the influx of toys. Right, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below how you spring clean and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.